Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, um, we're going to do an update on the layout since a month ago, or it feels like two months ago, on the layout. So we're doing an update on the layout to see what's changed since the past two months. So first thing you're going to notice is you're going to be saying where is the bridge gone and the reason the bridge isn't on the layout is because i am redoing the bridge um to have like this brick sheet over the existing uh, like slate uh, brick um, I've also got a few more Engage Oxford diecast vehicles and I've got a new uh, loco well it slightly is a new loco it's just been uh, taken over by another company so I have uh, got rid of the uh, DRS-57 and I just let the hand of God come into view with uh, the new loco which has replaced the uh, DRS-57 and it is the rail op operations group class 57 which is 57 312 and uh, it's got the dapol um, magnetic coupling at the front and at the rear as well so these were vinyls that I got for this loco and i'll leave a link in the description below for these vinyls if you want to make 57 312 so uh i'm going to show you the new railhead treatment train and uh it is actually half of it is in camel camelwell depot and you can just see it behind 66783. You can just see it there. And the rest of it you can see here. Now I have completely weathered the entire train since these uh, wagons do get very, very dirty very, very quickly. So there is no branding on this just completely weathered it and put the railings around the uh, some of the modules and on this side as well so on the RHTT are 66783 and 66718 So I'll leave a link for these RHTT uh, 3D printed uh, modules. So I'll leave a link in the description below for them if you want to do a RHTT. Since we are still in the RHTT season. Um, some other bits as well. Um, I've started to put pavements on this side because as you remember it was just the pavement that side but nothing this side and uh, the other the other building I'm still putting the pavement on the other side so I've got to find a way on how to move the pedestrian crossing maybe a few uh, 
a couple of centimetres back towards me. Um, over at this end, a new building is going to be going here. So you might see that in the next update. Um, I've uh, redone the top of 66709. As you may be able to see in the light, it is a much uh, more up-to-date colour. As you can see in the light, you can see it is actually blue. As you may saw in the last update when I showed you it was like black. You couldn't really see any of the blue at all. So all I've got to do now for the rest of this is to do the front of it behind uh, around the windows into like a, a yellowish colour like it is at the moment because that's uh, what happens when they uh, repaint this loco they don't have it like with an orange bit they have it all yellow at the front but it isn't actually the same colour of yellow as this it's much more of a mustard yellow similar to colour on 66783 like that type of orange colour and then after I've done that then I need to put the orange strip across the across the top like above the driver's cab door uh, then like weather the uh, the bogies and Obviously the top as well. And also I'll be doing that to all of my 66s as well. Yeah, as you can see, 66729 is already weathered. Because this was originally on the RXTT. But I decided to put it with 66783. Uh, 66737 will also need weathering on the exhaust as well. Because they don't stay silver they do go rusty colour and then start to turn blackish sooty colour on the exhaust um, so I'm pretty sure that's got to, got to do with this uh, video that's all there is to the to the uh, update so so thanks for watching make sure you leave a like please subscribe and uh yeah so thanks for watching now see you again in the next update